And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, where we last left off. We were supposed to turn Aloysius Dawson into a vampire, but I told him, No, bitch, you're gonna die, and you're gonna die all peaceful and happy-like. And then now I gotta tell Lord Redgrave that, Hey, some things happened. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. Oh! Now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jonathan got the better end of that exchange. Just because he's coming like, come at me, bro. <laughs> Fred Gray's just throwing a fucking tantrum. I didn't get my way. Meh. Okay, so it's fair to say Aloysius Dawson wasn't inherently a bad dude he just you know the death of his twin brother and all the other shit caught up to him and turned him into a heartless asshat redgrave's just a little bitch like when when you first meet him he seems cool and whatnot it's kind of like oh this guy you know could be the a good main villain but no he's just a bitch he's nothing more than a whiny little pansy ass Oh, hello. I don't think I've seen you out here before. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Um... No one saw you? Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. Hmm. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers? What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. That's good. Lady Ashbury in the sewers. Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. All right, fair enough. Lady Ashbury, you know her. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago. Wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Attack who? No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Ah, uh, tell her I love her. Tell her we need to talk. Tell her I worry about her. Eh. Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Econ. For the flames are rising. The flames of war are rising. Uh, 
Okay, so we gotta go to Pembroke. Or back to Pembroke. Back to our wee little home. Okay, good, we're unlocking all kinds of doors now. Woo! Jesus! Whew! Okay. Okay, you frick. Ah, that was dumb of me. Okay, that thing's annoying. Come on, heal up. Or, er, freeze. Did he kill himself? <laughs> I'm not sure if he just killed himself or not, but that was kind of funny. Alrighty. But yeah, like, you know, Red Grave saying, like, Ascalon will hunt you down. It's like, well, you've been hunting me down. Every single one of you remember the Ronin to tries to fucking kill me. The hell is that? Oh, well, doesn't matter. Back in the White Chapel. Oh, is there anybody here I need to cure? Oh yeah, I think it's just yeah, it's just her and those two. But I I don't particularly care about those two because I've already got all the hints out of them. All right, so we need to head this way. But yeah, I I, I still dislike how like I questioned uh, what's her face about meeting Lady Ashbury. And then he, you know, they, they talk a little about it. Oh my lord, would you like me to remind you? And then, you know, he's like, Lady Ashbury, you spoke to her. It's like, no, we just, we didn't just get done talking about that like two minutes ago, you fucking dumbass. I mean, again, like the dialogue between Redgrave and, uh... No. No. Oh, lovely, he resisted it. Missed. Ow. Freeze, motherfucker. Damn it. You missed. Might actually get that blood shield. Ow. Oh, you bitch. I just realized he's level 31. Bonk! My stamina recover a bit. Oh, you have struck me down. Struck me down, bleh. Ah, that was dumb. Oh, nice! That was a waste. Oh, I got him. That was a waste of plot. Well, then again, I didn't waste that much. Uh, face the... Oh, never mind, he went after somebody else. Hey, can I join in on this fun? Ah, 
Now, keep your vomit to yourself. Missed. Bleh. God damn it. What the hell, you annoying bitch? Come here. I'll stop puking everywhere. It's gross. Kaboom. Oh, she didn't blow up that time. Oh, that's convenient for me. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. It's another one of you... Twinkles. God damn it. Okay, this... God damn, it hurts. Jesus Christ. Can I have a minute to breathe? How the hell does he keep resisting that shit? I call Haxa. Oh, shit. Okay, his little shadow mini doesn't hurt that badly. It's mainly that fucking thing that hurts. Oh, that was fucking lame. That, oh. I'm gonna fucking murder that little bitch. Fucking spam that stupid shadow buzz muffin thing. <laughs> by the sword, you die. Yeah, I literally died by the sword. All right, raddies. Oh, wow, it really shot me the fuck back here. I don't remember if the enemies respawn. Nope. They did not respawn. Oh, wait, yeah, he did. Alright, let me see if I can finish you off quickly. Well, then again, that dude we fought's a named character, so... Meh. Nah. I'm eh, about the damage I just took. Missed. Missed. Down you go. Okay, I'll just let my life regenerate. Oh, she's way over there. Actually, oh, wait, hello. Let me just beat the shit out of you for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to eat the rats. Not quite yet. Oh, 
Oh, you little bitch. Hey, why don't you shoot at the other lady? There you go. Okay, let's finish you off. Ooh, nice shot, bonk. Now oh, we can be friends, not really. Die. Alright. How to kill this other chuckleweed. Where the fuck he is. There you are. God damn, hurry up and recover, you fucking thing. Okay, apparently whenever that dude hits me, my stamina goes down. Yeah, that's so tough now, are you, you little twinkle? Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Okay, you are beyond annoying. Good god, that was... Mm. And it's not that he's particularly tough, it's just dodging in this fucking narrow-ass alleyway or whatever is a pain in the dick. Actually, I might as well turn back and kill that skull. Just for the HP recovery. Okay, so now I know why he was killing me the last time so badly. Hey, you. Come here. Got any friends? No? Alright. Oh, you do have friends. Whoa, that's new. I do say so, that's a rather new, er, madam. Ah, you twinkle. This just isn't my day today. Shut up. God, that vomiting's a bit obnoxious. Sheesh. Okay, am I done taking damage? Okay, well, I'm better off than before. What is this truck? Are the vampire hunters here already? Probably. Actually, it might be a good idea to rest up. Go ahead and get me. Let's see, I've got 5,000 to work with. 2,700. Actually, for another 100, that's not half bad. Okay. Which is this regeneration? 1,000? And I think I'll increase my bullets. And yeah, I don't have enough really for anything else. All right, confirm. The following night. 
Well, see, it's Dustin Co-Founder and head of Dustin. Dustin died at 71 years of age. Yeah, let's check that. That's one brother and influential man. Let's see, it's Dustin was also a great art collector. Sort of philanthropist. Recently, he had campaigned for an audacious plan to save London from the Spanish flu. By raising a quarantine wall to prevent the districts and contain the epidemic, but only a few hours before his death. The magnet had given orders to cancel the construction of the wall. More surprisingly, large donations of money have been received by all major, Lond all major London hospitals, while equally important contributions have been made to these smaller clinics and dispensaries. Does it mean Aloysius Elson, a man known for his fortitude and conservative opinions, was finally touched by grace? Who could say? Only thing, the only one, or only one thing, got a fucking dyslexic or something, is certain all over the city, thanks to that man's late generosity. Okay, so yeah, that is the good. In, that is the good ending for Aloysius Dawson. <laughs> and it's still just healthy. Well, because he's dead. Yeah. And it's sanitized again. Oh, apparently I already cured all of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Because of his donations, everybody's getting cured. Okay. That's going to kind of put a damper on my EXP, but hey, I mean, good stuff came of it. And yeah, there's only one person now we haven't met, and I'm at a loss as to who it is. Otherwise, yeah, we've met all the NPCs. Okay, I don't need it. Oh, actually, yeah, let me see if I can upgrade anything. Particularly this. Sit, sit, shit. All right, that one's good to go. We still didn't get any. All right, I need to go see if I can buy some rivets off of uh, Happy Pants downstairs. The flower's dying. It needs water. I like it's just a cup or something I can grab just to give the damn thing some water. Because I'm actually curious as to how you do that. I mean, there's a sink right here, you would think. Let's see if the goodies in here are regenerated. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked. Actually, wait, no, I don't have access to nearly anything. Never mind that. Okay, so hopefully what's-his-face is still around. Yeah, all right, Milton Hooks is still around. The pain! Oh, Mr. Milton, I need to buy some stuffs. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Let's trade. Like wise you have... Ooh, sweet, you have this, that. You have rivets. You do not have any rivets. Alright, well, you, you had what I wanted, so there's that. Yeah, I kind of sort of spoiled the, uh, the goings-on of the... Um, Thing it wasn't there because you saw briefly uh, the door to what's his face's uh, office. Oh, yeah, missile. Why would you let me use the things? Actually, if I go to my office, I should be able to use it. I can't even use it in my own damn office. What a shame. Sweet. Reduce the stamina or increase the stun. I am going to reduce that stamina. We could lower it to 24. Sacrificing a little bit of stun. Nah, I think that setup's fine as is. I need rivets. Oops, I don't want to upgrade that. Okay, so that's fully upgraded. That's fully upgraded. I don't use the stake anymore. That's fully upgraded. And I just need one rivet.
But yeah, I think I'll look up how to give that plant water. It's like a little minor thing, but, you know. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Um, looks like they kidnapped him. And decided to damage his property, because why not? I cannot enter. Okay, I believe... Oh yeah, I gotta follow the blood trail, okay. I can see, I believe I gotta go to the third floor, but I don't want to just wander up there. It's just like, well, how did you know that? I was doing that shit again. Oh, okay, I think it's because it's bouncing between so many people. That's why it's making that noise. Alright, but yeah, up here, we're gonna have another boss fight. Actually, one of the better boss fights... ...ish. I should've equipped my... ...sword. Oh, okay. Not too late. Uh, let's see, let's get you out. And we'll start off with the pistol. Well, that was rude. Ultraviolet curtains and ori calcum powder. Wait, Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. Where'd you come from, Alexander Anderson? I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts your hand. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what he did. What'd he do? What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! <laughs> yeah, my first experiment, even though I pretty much killed her for you. Well, she killed herself, actually. So much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger Wait. than your evil powers. Are you sure it's not just whiskey? This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Close your Whoa. eyes. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Free wind prevails. Oh, shit, I'm burning. A true defender of this land will protect me. Give me your blood, Cullum. Or my Cullum. Come on, Reed. Try something else. You missed. Okay, I'm. Holy good God. If you're so innocent. Why does simple light burn you so much? Your poisonous bite is useless on... Okay, well at least I got that last bullet into you. Time for me old shotty gun. Oh, bite him! True light will cleanse you! God damn, that shotgun's wrecking your shit, dude. Ow! 
That was easy. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. We could collaborate. You hunted me down. Well, well, yeah. Maybe I'm a monster. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. Fair enough. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? All right, I deal. Oh, turn him. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, or no, wait, no, that's not new. All right, so you can turn him. You sacrifice the exp, but you turn him into a vampire. But killing him or turning him would prove him correct. Sparing him proves him wrong, which is what we're going to do. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? It's not a ruse. This Ace. is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. And hey, McCollum's not a bad guy. All, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. You can try. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter. Yeah, easiest way to beat him, just spam the shit out of your guns on him. Don't even bother with the two or the double handed thing. Yeah, the only annoying part in fighting McCollum, it's not McCollum himself, it's the fucking lights that keep popping up all over the place. If you can figure out how to avoid the lights, it's pretty simple. Kind of got through like 3,000 XP for kill or fighting that dude. But yeah, I, I don't see any reason to kill McCollum because he's not a bad guy. In fact, the Guard of Freewin aren't bad people, they're just very flawed in their approach. Yeah. I'm gonna go restart out some bullets before I get out of dodge. But yeah, we gotta go back to the theater. Because we gotta... That's pretty much where their operation's going on. I should not think about it. We're nearing the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, we're actually... Yeah, now we're, we're to the point now where this story is really just gonna, like, lose me in terms of how enjoyable it isn't. Actually, what are, oh yeah, don't, yeah, I need to actually, there he is. I also need to find that. What the hell? Why does it say 320 some odd meters when I'm like right inside of it? That's bizarre. Yeah, I don't, I'm a little confused. Why does it want me to go? Because yeah, it's pointing me back to West End. Why is it pointing me back to West End? That was a nice burp, dude. Well done. Okay, is there gonna be some? Yep, yeah, they're up here.
This sword's actually not that bad. Ow. All right, well, let me sw switch back to my... that thing. Oh, hello! Okay, that ability definitely needs to be upgraded. That hurt whatever the hell that was. Oh, it's just a crossbow bolt? I thought it was something else. Alright. Freeze, motherfucker. No, aim for the other guy, you silly man. And die. Okay, I kind of had to take that hit. Now, when your stamina goes all the way down, it takes a minute for it to recover. And down he goes. And I felt like the voices were kind of dead because they weren't, like, yelling at me. It's like they were just dead inside. Lord Sheffield. Or Sheffield. Yeah, he's another one that named Clown, so. Yeah, have fun with that, jackass. Oh, shit. They say dodge. Go on! Why didn't you dodge? All right. Well, he was easy. Yeah. Now, now this club is just like stupid OP. I mean, as if it wasn't already. <sighs> oh no! No! All right. Oh shit. I just set myself up there. No, you gotta hit on it. I feel like the sound has just like slowly died off. Okay, that actually hurt. Yeah, I think the sound is bugged out. Oh, hey, got a shotgun shell off of him. Uh, and the other guy didn't drop anything. Okay, game, where the fuck are you trying to direct me to? I'm convinced this quest is just bugged. Because, yeah, it's still directing me to that thing right there. But, yeah, it's telling me to go this way. Okay, good. At least we're in healthy territory. Okay, given... I'm assuming it's directing me to where the house is? Which I think is a bit odd. Yeah, it's the only place it could be pointing me to. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure this thing's just bugged. Are you ever going to get out of that chair, you silly woman? <sighs> Where is this stupid game directing me to? Uh, you about to go into your room and do weird things? By weird, I mean talk to herself. Nothing. I didn't mean anything else by it. No, you're gonna go stare at the shelf. Or oh, whatever. 
Anyways, the, the the scene you get with her is she's essentially uh, talking to herself, or well, she's pretending her children and grandkid are with her. I mean, she's been through so much shit. Like she's just, she's gone. Actually, I need to speak with you, sir. Good e Good evening. I may. You have the thing that which I need. You do not. You suck. Good day, sir. Okay, yeah, I'm genuinely confused. Oh, now, okay, now it's pointing me back to... Oh, fuck this game. <laughs> fucking making me go all the way over here for no fucking reason other than to tell me, Oh, yeah, it's back that way. Game, I think you've gone senile in your early days. Not even a year old yet. Oh, you're, like, <laughs> barely even two months old. Yeah, this game came out in May? I think, I think it was May. Like, late May, early June, something like that. Yeah, and it's bugging out. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this street... Yeah, this street should be cleared. Alright, let me quickly deal with you. And down you go. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. Alright, salute the trash. Let plates. Okay, if I can avoid fire. What the? Uh, yeah, I need to go up there. So, plunk. And blunk. Let's pass through the other side here. For the sake of ease. Oh, I've been impaled on the fence. Hey, come on, just let me get over there. Box of goodies. All right, just gotta get on this barge. It's gotta be. Sp this wasn't open before. Huh? Maybe I can get the shit that's in. Oh wait, no. Never mind. This. Yeah, I've always had access to this area. It's where you take. Um, What's his face to kill him? If you, if you wish, which at this point, there's not really a point in me killing him. And again, he does offer 1,000 EXP. The guy I'm talking about is, um... Clay over here. And now it's pointing me back that way. What the fuck is up with this game? All right, maybe it's in Swansea's office. That would be my guess. Hey, Swansea, do you have the thing which I'm looking for? Which I have no idea what it is I'm even looking for in the first place. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe it's, um... Wouldn't make any sense for it to be there. Because I think I have, like, a male thingy what's it in here. Maybe not. Yeah, I have no idea what it is I'm looking for. Yeah, I might just have to look it up online. Well, schnickerdoodles. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna look up all this shit online. That way, I'm not running around trying to figure things out, and you know, the video's running, but nothing's happening. Get rid of all the filler and whatnot. Oh, hello. Hello, sis. How are things in the big city?
You see Paul, Mum, and Dad. Oh, it has to do with Pippa, apparently. Pippa's thinking about quitting Pembroke Hospital. Okay, I thought that was relevant to the thing he was in. I was like, hey, yeah, that doesn't seem to have anything to do with anything. But yeah, that locker's just randomly unlocked now. It's locked. Yeah, speak of the devil. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reid. Good evening, Dr. Reid. Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. Um, this is in unacceptable. Don't you mean unacceptable? You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. Oh, nice. Got another hint. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. Uh, what about Milton Hooks? And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. <laughs> Bullshit. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. And again, this was back in the day when Christianity was still more popular. Or rather, the belief in faith, you know, working was more widely accepted. As opposed to nowadays where people don't really do that. And the ones that do are fucking delusional. And I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm saying, cite me a circumstance in which praying to God actually works. Any God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be the biblical God. Praying in general. Give me one situation or circumstance where it has completely and utterly worked without fail. I'm trying to think of what happens. Yeah, there's not a boss fight in the Doris Fletcher Theater. Yeah, wow, we really are coming up to the end of this damn game. Like, I've, there's maybe two or three videos left of it. That's if I do the side bits. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Take a bit of a break, because I noticed my commentary's kind of... Kind of stagnated this video. Like, I feel like I started off really good and chipper in the previous one, but this one, no, not so much. It's kind of like, yeah, all right, let's do things. It's just, the game doesn't really... It, it falls apart in its climax, I will say that. And we're pretty much at the climax right now. You know, it just kind of came out of fucking nowhere. There's like a couple other things for us to do. Um, and if like nothing interesting comes of um, the side bit with finding the father notes and all that stuff, then I'm probably just going to forego the quest entirely. Just be like, yeah, it, nothing neat or cool happens. But before that, I think I will attempt to level up something. I can at least be at 28. Um, 300 blood, 270. Oh, it's an enemy is in front of you. The massive projectile will deal greater damage than before. Okay, so it's basically you can create a multi one or you can create a regular one. Which means I probably should have not gone with Rage at all. Uh, let's see. Is there any point to upgrading my health further? See, health-wise, I'm doing okay. If anything needs improvement, it's my stamina. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and get a extra 30% bonus. I just randomly got a shotgun shell. Oh yeah, that's right, because I did fire a few. Fair enough. 
Jesus. Yeah, that certainly went to hell in a handbasket. Good grief. It's like a little bit of everything, too. Okay, so they're still sick. Yeah, so they both got fatigued, so I'll probably be doing all that off screen. I think even if there's a point to bothering with it to this point, because let's see, I'm level 28. I've pretty much got everything I want in terms of equipment, or, well, my weaponry. Uh, my skill set's pretty much good to go. I mean, the Blood Sphere, I guess, could use some improvement, but beyond that, I mean, my stamina's now, like, fucking massive. My health bar's good. My blood bar could use a little bit of improvement, because then again, the only thing I really use the blood for is the healing, because um, I don't hardly use the Blood Sphere anymore, and the ultimate and that stun ability don't require blood. Uh, they just have bit longer cooldowns. So, yeah. Anyway, folks, this has been Vampire, and I shall see you all for uh, the next video.